today we're going to do Tita Bricks and Scala. So we have our cluster up and running. And let's take a look at the code from the Databricks documentation. So here you can see, uh, let's try to create some data frames. So we have here your uh, case class, and then we create the departments. Then you create the employees. And then you create the department with employees. So let's copy this. Let's create the database fit. And let's go here. Uh, let's create a new notebook. Let's create a blank notebook. Let's, uh, choose Scala. Say. <laughs> sample file. And this is a, a notebook for Scala. We can paste it here. So as I mentioned, you create we create first some database list that we can use with its departments and then its employees. We also define the department if it's a string, the employee it's a string, it's got the email, it's a string, and the salary is integer, and then you got department with the employees, department and a sequence of the employees. So employee one, employee two, employee three, four, five, etc. Okay, let's press shift enter. It's running it on the cluster. So remember to create a cluster first. So I already created a cluster for that. And we have a notebook. So there you have it running. Let's try the next command line which is uh, we need to cre create a data frame. So the data frame uh, makes us distribute a file <coughs> uh, using Hadoop and Apache Spark. So we have to um, create those data frames. So you can assign the data frame as you go. So employees 1, employees 2, or you can choose, uh, you can change it. So see here, they have data frame 1. And then you have your data frame too. Okay. Let's wait for it to finish completing. So there you go. You have the department. You have the employees. See? Okay. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to union the two data frames. So we go back here and paste it so let's uh, bring this two together and we call it union df so it's still a data frame there you go the spark jobs are running okay it, it successfully did that and then lastly we're gonna write the union data frame to a parquet file so parquet files are uh, makes it easy to distribute things could be a parquet file or hive table or hbase so there so you can see the path file is uh, saved here in temporary data bricks uh, parquet file so there this is the, the path file for the d database utilities so that's true we will remove it if it exists already Okay, and then we write the parquet file here. Okay, last thing that we should do is read the data frame for the parquet file. There we go. Hopefully it works read it from parquet okay great it's working and then we explode the employees column on spark sql functions so we should be able to um, select that copy it here so 
So the good thing about Scala is Apache Spark is written in Scala, that's why it's pretty fast. Um, instead of going to Python or through R, and lastly you flatten the fields of the columns into class. Okay. There you go. So that's the that's the end of the Python notebook. You can see here the cluster is still running. Okay. But we can't check the jobs because it's a community edition. So there you go for our Scala. If you want to go to your workspace, just go back to your workspace and look for it. Or you can go to recents and go back to your sample file. So there you go.